technology offers an ability to leapfrog certain uh, traditional ways of approaching diagnosis. So um, in the US, uh, initially, of course, m HIV testing was largely uh, clinic-based diagnosis, and same in Africa with initial HIV testing uh, using phlebotomy to make a diagnosis um, at first. And I think with the advent of uh, two things, one, rapid testing, and then also, it's two typically go together, but point-of-care technology, meaning testing that you can offer at the point of clinical interaction with the patient, even if you're not in a clinic-based setting. Those two uh, things really offer a huge leg up in terms of leapfrogging uh, some of the obstacles. So a, a good example being in the community health campaign, we offered a rapid and point of care uh, CD4 count testing. So for everyone that was diagnosed with HIV, um, there's technology now that exists where you, with a single finger prick, without having to do a blood draw out in a, a field setting, um, we could provide people with, uh, with disease staging, you know, knowing how low their CD4 count was, um, and then provide um, expedited referral, for example, with those who had uh, very low CD4 counts below 200. Um, so that, that CD4 counts one example um, that really allowed for a leapfrogging that way. I think the other um, one of my areas of interest is in tuberculosis diagnostics, and um, there's a PCR-based uh, diagnostic uh, technology now. Uh, it's a specific test called the Expert MTB RIF assay that operates on a gene expert platform. Um, and it's a type of PCR-based assay that allows for um, really quite sensitive tuberculosis testing um, within two hours. You know, typically when we're diagnosing TB, the gold standard is uh, culture, which can take up to six to eight weeks. Um, and even longer if you think about operationalizing it, and it requires really a centralized, um, very uh, uh, difficult to set up laboratory. Um, and with the advent of this new test, it can be used really um, in much uh, less intensive laboratories um, and potentially even um, close to the field. It's currently referred to as near point of care technology. But that allowed us within a day, really, an HIV infected people who were TB suspects to test them for tuberculosis. Um, and given that we knew where they were living and some information about them, if we had a positive result, we could go out and, and let them know that and get them on treatment.